Hi guys, it's Jeannie. I'm a health coach and this is my first scheduled live, so I hope I did it right and hopefully you are able to get on and I don't know, I set like a reminder and sent things out, so if you're on here, let me know. And this is pretty exciting. I'm going to talk about detoxing and how to decrease the amount of toxins from your body and why that's good and what's that kind of everything, you know, what is all going on with that. So um, we want to remove the foods that cause inflammation. We want to get rid of the toxins in the body. That's what we're talking about with detoxing. Now, I know there's some definite, um, like, programs, and you've heard some, like, crazy detox programs, I mean, out there, like fasting, and I know Dr. Frank Lipman, I'm really happy with his two-week, like, detox program. It's kind of extreme, so it's not something that I want to do right now, but it's, like, two big, two main meals a day, and he takes out, like, you really are eliminating a lot of food, like, you're eliminating anything that has GMO, which is fine, but, like, soy and gluten, which I'm not eating, but there's a lot of foods in there um like he doesn't want you eating a much grains and it's like limiting what fruits you can have and even the types of vegetables it's no alcohol uh no caffeine so if you want something a little bit less extreme right like um just like what are some things that we can do in our normal day-to-day -day life to take out the toxins to detox our body i'm gonna talk about it so there are a lot of things, a lot of symptoms, things that can happen to our body when we have a lot of chemicals and we have a lot of toxins. So yesterday I talked about it a little bit about um, headaches and fatigue and weight gain. So like, right, you could be gaining weight and it's because you're eating and taking in too many toxins and chemicals. So constipation and gas and allergies, stuffy nose, all these things, trouble with sleep, brain fog, and that's like crazy. So all of this, you might be thinking it's from something and it's really from something else, like all the mercury and all the toxins and the chemicals that's coming in at us. And where are these chemicals and these toxins coming from? Like I said yesterday, they're coming in from the air, from the water, from the food, all the products and things that we put on our body. So I'm going to go through some of these things. And um, another thing that you might not know is a lot of times when you go to your doctor, he's going to say, oh, you're not sleeping, so here's some sleeping pills, right? Or, um, you know, you have anxiety and it's from this. But basically, it's just another tip that, like, in functional medicine, we really want to see, like, what's causing stuff and not just give you a medication which can cause more side effects and really get down to what is causing the problem, right? Because like your fatigue, your um, like your belly issues might not be what you think. It could be from these toxins and these chemicals coming at you. So some things it can do to remove, some foods that are really helpful is trying to reduce the amount of mercury. So um, you've probably heard this before, but yeah, tuna has a lot of mercury. So they say that the smaller fish are better, things like sardines or wild herring. Um, factory farms, you want to get rid of factory farm, maybe fish or meats, kind of cut those out and, you know, that's a good thing to take out, uh, soy and refined sugar. Um, have you heard of the clean 15 and the dirty dozen? So... It is good to buy certain foods organic and not all fruits and vegetables need to be purchased organic because some of them have thicker uh, skin and depending on where it's produced and the fertilizer and the soil, you might not need to spend the extra money to get it organic. So that's a really good tip. If you haven't heard of the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen, you can let me know or you can. I'll be doing another video. Actually, that might be another good video and talk about which fruits and vegetables you don't have to buy organic. But they have it all over on the internet um, listing of the things to look out for. And that's a good tip to save money. So a couple of things to add to your foods. You might have heard that cilantro uh, is really good to add to your foods to detox. And parsley is really good too, but um, I don't love parsley. Actually, um, hi, thanks for coming on. Actually, um, parsley tonight is the first day of Passover, so it's going to be on the Seder table. But besides that, I'm not really eating parsley too much. Um, cruciferous vegetables are really good, and that those are things like kale and Brussels sprouts and broccoli and bok choy. You guys, if you have any good bok choy recipes, let me know, because that's actually something that I eat when I'm out if it's like already in there and it's cooked. But I don't really actually know how to cook bok choy, but I know it's really good for detoxing. It's a cruciferous vegetable, so load up on that. Bone broth is really good. You know, the green leafy vegetables are good. Berries, I've talked about throwing in garlic and onion as much as you can because those are really good detoxifying uh, foods for the body that obviously you can like add to so many things. 
and let's see um okay so let's talk about lemon water so i mentioned it yesterday and i have more information to give you so i suggested that lemon water in the morning is a great way to start your day so of course how do you get it warm and how do you drink it and i got more information so um yeah one tip is to have just regular room temperature water so if you keep your brita water out that's like a good first step or if you really want to kind of like knock it up a step, you can use a heated kettle um, pot, um, electric, sorry, electric kettle pot and warm up that water. So you can warm that up and then with regular room temperature, you kind of like put it together. So you get like this perfect temperature. Because if you just do the kettle, like the heated kettle pot, the heated electric kettle, sorry, um, it's going to be too hot. So if you mix it with... So you heat that up and then you mix it with regular room temperature water. It's going to be like this perfect combination. And then you can put about half a lemon in there and you mix it up. And then I thought you could just drink it. But another tip is that if you want to be careful, because the acid in the lemon, I know there's so much, right, can actually be kind of bad for your teeth. That's really acidic. So if you want to avoid the acidity on your teeth, you can use a glass straw and drink from a glass straw. So that's a really good trip a trick sorry and my cousin recommended what she does is after she has the lemon water she kind of swishes it around um, with some regular water so after you drink the lemon water take some regular water kind of swish it around your mouth probably to get the you know away from your teeth and that's a really good tip and then you want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes after you've had the lemon water in the morning before you eat or drink anything else so that's a good way to start your day it's good for metabolism it's good for the liver and it can help you with weight loss because you're working on your metabolism like I said and it helps with detox and also you know it's good for you know vitamin C getting it into your body too so a couple other things I want to talk about is the D the E WG which is the environmental working group I don't know if you guys have heard about them but they even have a cool app and on the app you can go on there and it will give you information you can actually scan products like skincare products and like things in the house because you know and we probably are aware there's a lot of chemicals and toxins in the skincare products that we're using so if you go on to EWG which is an American uh, organization that just kind of does research and gives us information like an awareness about the chemicals and toxins like I said you can go on there and see what they're recommending and scan a product with the barcode and see if it's a good product they'll talk about the chemicals that it contains and maybe if it's not so good you know like they'll say like this is not good for cancer and those kind of things so in time in terms of your lifestyle there could be some things that you're doing I talked about yesterday how you could take a bath at the end of the day which is really good for detox with about two cups of Epsom salts which are full of magnesium and it's really good at the end of the day um, and sweating you get rid of you know you're getting rid of a lot of toxins when you're sweating and massages are really good if you can try and do a digital detox once in a while and get lost you know because we have so much stuff coming at us right and making sure that you're sleeping a good amount you know seven to eight hours and even eight is optimal you produce HGH which is human growth hormone at night you're producing higher levels of that when you sleep so that's why sleep is also very important uh, you know, there's other reasons too, but that's one. And restorative yoga too, if you've never tried it, is really good um, to kind of like cleanse the body and it's good for detoxing. So I wanted to talk finally about dry brushing because I mentioned it yesterday in my video and I wanted to show you guys how to do it because what is dry brushing and like why is it good and all that kind of stuff. So you want to be gentle when you dry brush, but here's what one can look like. It's like natural bristle. I got this from Amazon and it comes with this cool like long handle so that you can get your back. So I'm just going to remove this for now. Okay, so here's the dry brush. And basically what you're doing is you're kind of like sloughing off the dead scales so that the dead cells and all that dead skin so that your skin can breathe well and it can perspire and there's not anything kind of clogging it up so it's really good they say it can reduce cellulite and it's good for circulation so let me kind of show you what you do the way you do it i'm going to back up so you can see me and kind of get on my couch okay so you definitely want to start from the bottom so starting from the feet and you want to work up so you can't really see but you would start from the bottom and what you're doing is working upwards you're working upwards towards the heart so starting from down here and just making strokes upward okay towards the heart so you'd be doing your legs and what you can do 
is you can do this before you take a shower. So maybe about four or five minutes and a few times a week is good. So you can get into the shower, uh, you know, or the bathtub and before you turn the water on, you're naked and you're just going to dry brush for, like I said, maybe five minutes or however long it takes you. And then you'll take a normal shower off and then you can get all that stuff away because you're going to have the dead skin cells. So you don't want to be like on your carpet like how I'm doing it right now. So I like the kind of upwards motion, like I said, but I have heard people do like circular motion. So if you're into that, you could try that too. But again, so you kind of want to start from the bottom and like work your way up and you're going to just do, you know, pretend I wasn't wearing jeans on. You'd be going up towards your heart, up towards your heart. When you get to your tummy, up towards your heart. You can use the brush, obviously with the handle, up towards the heart. So. I like doing definitely um, my arms. It feels really good. You don't want it to be red and sore and like gross. You want it to be gentle and kind of upwards, always upwards, so over here, going upwards. Okay, so when you um, kind of get to this area, like I said, you want to do it towards your heart. Everything's towards your heart. So this area, it's kind of sensitive. It's like thinner skin. So you want to go downward here because it's towards your heart. Okay, so like everything from the legs is going up because that's towards your heart, but then here you're kind of going down towards your heart. Okay, and then like I said, you can use um, the handle and do the back. And yeah, it's kind of like this good feeling. You feel kind of like revitalized and it's good for circulation. Like I said, you'll probably feel good and who knew it's good for detoxing, right? And um, yeah, it unclogs your pores and like I said, try it out i got this on amazon it was like 20 bucks and obviously you can travel with it and it's kind of fun so hopefully you like some of these tips that are good for you know detoxing in a more less rigid way right like i said you can do a hardcore two-week detox where you're literally like cutting so many foods out and really sticking to something regimented but if you're not ready for that, then just taking a couple of these tips and trying to get some of the toxins out, being aware of uh, places to go to to find out about the chemicals and the products. So let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to detox, what are one of the things that I talked about that you're already doing, or which one of these are you hoping to try? Like maybe the lemon water in the morning, like yeah, that doesn't seem that difficult. Or dry brushing, which is pretty fun, and if you dry brush, <laughs> this is a good tip, if you want to be like, you know, getting the maximum bang for your buck, I suggest that you dry brush before you take an Epsom salt bath. So then it's like two things all at one time, right? Or like soon after. So that's my favorite tip. But yeah, so let me know what your favorite tip that I talked about or what you're already doing that you love and let us know how it's going, okay? And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Again, my name is Jeannie Colwin. Have a fabulous weekend, guys. Bye.